coolest wooden roller coaster in the world was brought down to the ground today. Jeff Boop is crying in the corner. Crews at Kings Island started demolishing the Son of Beast earlier this week. The ride, which opened back in 2000, had been closed and out of operation since 2009, following multiple mechanical issues. Hey guys, I'm back to another video. Those are what you just saw is after Kings Island closed Son of Beast and started tearing it down back in 2012. If you are aware, if you know this channel, you know that one of my main focuses is on Son of Beast, more specifically the RMC version. And I think we're getting way closer to RMC Son of Beast than many of you may think. After, after my last video where I talked about the new Son of Beast teasers and the Adventure Express cues and videos that all line up with the number 5 as a live poster. Now we have more details concerning these rumors that I think will give you more information on why I believe RMC Son of Beast could still be happening. I'm going to tell you why I think I could be right, why I think I could be wrong, and also my new theory. Now, let's get you caught up on the rumors first. So, there was basically this poster in Adventure Express's queue that called the Southern Yellow Overlook. And if you look at it, it had the Son of Beast eyes, 218 feet, the Outpost 5 logo, and also was the, the Outpost 5 had the Outpost 5 label. And then if you go up to the, Outp the Adventure Express map, it shows the Southern Yellow Overlook, which has Outpost 5 logo on the exact spot of the old Son of Beast station, has the trees and everything lined up where a new Son of Beast station and queue line could end up being, with the lost cat note and paw prints leading to it. This is not something that King's Island would normally do with it lining up with Google Earth, considering they wouldn't put that much effort into something that wasn't a teaser. We're just waiting on paperwork to confirm the theories. Now let's talk about these new teasers. The new teasers stem from these pictures and, uh, and uh, the talks I found on Reddit. The pictures show that the Son of Beast station lights are on. Now, let me explain why this is a big deal. Somebody said that they were on every year, and I could believe that from tw from whenever Wolfpack started to 2019. But after that, I have never seen them on, and considering I visit King's Island a ton, I I'm assuming that these lights are turned on for some kind of reason. And that is either for a new haunted house or for a new coaster, signaling electrical work and them, wanting, and them working inside the station. And I think that the idea that an employee brought up why the lights were on could be possible because of trespassing. However, this could be a cover up for what King's Island is actually doing. And the other thing is, on that Reddit post, somebody mentions that Kings Island told their employees that they could no longer go back into the old Son of Beast station and plot of land, which they were once let, allowed to do, and they would get in big trouble if they did. This makes it seem that Kings Island is doing some kind of work back in the old station. Now, some one employee said that this is not true, but they could have not told every employee about this, considering what job they are working. Because security, depending on what they are doing, would probably have to know, be able to go anywhere in the park considering that people could end up anywhere. So if this was just ride operators that they told, I will need to ask more people about this, because if this is true, this is getting pretty crazy. Now let's talk about the construction. If you look at the, if you look back there, there's many piles of dirt, and there you can see the Son of Beast station lights on. This is important, because if you look closely at the next image, you can see that the station is completely cleared out. What would be the reason for clearing out Wolfpack if you weren't planning on tearing it down putting a new coaster in there or putting a new haunted house. Now this is where I'm putting my money on. I'm putting that Kings Island is going to do a new haunted house for 2024. There is going to be somehow themed to the Beast and the Son of Beast. As you look at this image, you can see there is absolutely nothing in the station and it's basically empty. I would expect the Wolfpack sign to go missing anytime in the next week or two. I don't see it being there much longer because I don't think it's ever going to come back considering the station is completely empty and they've cleared every mention of Wolfpack out of there. And now the lights are also on during the day. This is very weird because there would be no trespassing in the station during the day that wouldn't require the lights to be on considering you would be able to see everything. And you can also see from this image the station is way emptier than it was just a few weeks ago. And I notice this considering I look at the station every day I go. This image also shows the circuit breaker is on signaling that the lights are going to still remain operational for a while. So that means the lights probably are still on today and probably going to stay on for a little bit longer. 
Now, I don't know how Kings on, how much longer Kings on is going to keep this going, considering they might be doing work, and when that work ends, they're probably going to turn them off. And now we got to talk about the active construction that was going on not too long ago. This active construction happened one random day when my uh, one of my subscribers caught it and commented it down below and then i spotted the construction equipment not to the day after that and now there wasn't any active construction going on then but it was absolutely going on the day before near the piles of dirt now i'm going to talk about my new theory my new theory is that king's island is going to build a new haunted house in 2024 2023 as i said earlier however this riot it will be themed to son of beast and the beast this will have many teasers to a new coaster coming in the next few years my prediction is a 2025 project and this ride will have a new station over by racer kind of over by racer adventure express and flight of fear with the main with the pre-lift section going in between flight of fear and adventure express making it with a station being in that area and the adventure port area for the new theming this would be really cool considering the teasers were in that area now let's talk about why I could be wrong. I could be wrong because of what the employee said. The lights were just on because of trespassing. Now this could be true, but that could not also not be true because who knows. I don't really see anybody feeling the need to trespass in the old Son of Beast station unless they're roller coaster enthusiasts trying to get more information. And the other thing is, the Eiffel Tower has been closed for a long period of time. This could just be a staffing issue, but what if it's not? And Kings Island is trying to hide the truth from us. Trying to hide what they are doing out in that area. Because you can only see little bits from Banshee, and if you look backwards on Back Row Orion, is the only spot you can really see the construction area. Now, could this all just be Kings on messing with us, and the dig and the dirt could be from Adventure Port? And that is definitely a possibility, as many people have said to me. However, I do believe that the Adventure, Adventure Port dirt is out behind Orion, as there is a large pile of dirt out there out behind where the orange structure was and I have a picture to prove that and also the dirt was not back there two months just a few months ago as shown by drone footage that somebody pointed out to me and after and now it is so there's something definitely going on back there no matter if employees can confirm it or not so if you work at Kings on and you want to confirm any of this information please let me know in the comments down below bye guys see you all next time I hope you enjoyed